ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog today we are doing an unboxing video again we seem to be doing a lot of these and in that box right there is turbos tte 720s now i'm gonna insert right here uh sponsorship plug sh uh, special shout out to um axel automotive in lake bluff illinois put that information right down there on the screen and uh please give them a call for all your audi or bmw or mercedes needs any car really but those are the three i see there um so whatever you need done they can take care of you so let them know um, especially if you're needing installs and turbos and uh, and tunes and intakes and downpipes and whatever else. They will get you all squared away and they will do it for a great price. So give them a call. Tell them Max Olu sent you. Now, today's video, we're going to do unboxing. And right here, we have a ton of boxes just kind of all shoved back here. Um, but right here is... The DHL boxes, TTE, uh, 720, 4-bar map sensors. The white one is oil filter housing, because uh, mine is leaking. So, they're real easy to check. But they are a pain in the ass to replace, because the turbos need to come out for it. So, you can see. Well, put their housing gasket or their housing. Uh, right here. So well, that's kind of what it looks like there. Obviously, oil filter goes in here, but usually what leaks is uh, the black gaskets right here on the bottom. But anyways, mine is leaking because I already did a turbo replacement once and I got a bad turbo. That's my second set replacement set, so I have to do it again. Um, but yeah, so that needs to be replaced. So I got that. Map sensors are exactly what they sound like. They come in the DHL box from TZ. They come really fast. So I'm gonna show you guys. The, uh, soon as I get to it. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. Uh, run TT and their map sensors. They look like the stock one, but recalibrated for 0314. So, just gonna wrap that back real quick, and then we can get to Um, today's video, so it's gonna put all the stuff back in here. Stuff goes in here. This was about 300 and something from Audi. Um, their direct OEM brand new replacement vacuum thingies. Um, this was 300 and something, I believe. Shipped, it's 285, but you know, the taxes that comes from Germany. TTE. The brand new German turbo. So I'm gonna move this box out of here to a better location, open it up, and then go over some things. And that box there is bad turbos that were taken off the car. So I'm gonna go over the different parts of it um, to show you how to spot bad turbos. We'll go outside. RS5 is um, RS5 is right out there. So we'll go outside, open the hood, show you how to spot bad turbos, and I'll show you, you know, some more for ones that are taken off. But yeah, so let me move this stuff and we'll resume the video. So let's go over the turbos. So these are the TTE 720 turbos. When you open the box, that's what it looks like. There's a little inspection paper here. I'm not sure what TTE was planning with this paper, but um, I, there's no context as opposed to exactly what uh what this paper is supposed to be but i imagine this right here is rpm i don't know what these are maybe that's just boost um tested up to 1.5 bar i guess 
uh, and you know, it says pass. So I, I guess I'm supposed to trust them that the turbos are good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so jokes aside, oh, let's put that over here. Their packaging is kind of weird, but also good. So it opens sideways. So well, these are just like foam pattern thingies. Um, these are paper, they're straight up just paper. So, I'm gonna set the, let me see, I'm gonna take the camera off the mount and then continue. Alright, so, these are the patterns, they kind of come like this. Um, That's part one. This is uh, a little too... Okay, turbos. This stuff is really noisy and annoying. Um, but yeah, so there's paper wrappings everywhere and it's chucked all around the edges so it gives you as little chance of damage as possible um these are one unit wastegates so this is a wastegate it's a one unit comes pre-mounted to stock turbos you cannot service this wastegate they're not serviceable because it is part of the exhaust housing portion so if that goes bad, your whole turbo needs to be replaced. Um, and that is also how you spot a good or bad turbo. Well, there's three, there's two other methods, but that's one of them. Is into out motion right here on the wastegate. So you pull on it like this, upwards. And if you get any motion at all, up to down, they're bad. Um, side to side you might get a little bit if you're super strong um, side to side like this you might get a little bit if you're really strong but uh, that also should not move much at all so I'm gonna zoom in here wait for the camera to focus I'm just gonna lock it right here Anywho, so motion out to out like this as you can see it doesn't budge at all, uh, but more importantly, you want to do into out motion. Um, so yeah, you guys, you get the idea, right? Um, into out this way, bad. This way, side to side, is okay with a very, very tiny little bit of motion, but there should be none. Really good turbos, there should be none at all. And this turbo has none. This one moves side to side part a little bit. So on that one, I can feel a little bit of side to side, but up to down is solid as a rock. Um, so I know the turbos are fine. I'm just gonna pull this. Set it down gently. Number two test. Compressor wheel. These are journal bearing turbos, just so you know. And a little bit of side to side motion is okay. So side to side. But into out should be solid as a rock. If it moves into out, even a millimeter, the turbos are junk. And that's part of what's wrong with the aftermarket turbos that I got on my car. They are um, they are pure 700s and they move, one side moves into out a lot. Like it's soft and moves back to forth. 
um, hence the TTE turbos. The car was never tuned for the 720, so it just did whatever stock tuning did. Um, but yeah, so for sure, first thing you want to do is try and press it down. As you can see, I can't get it to budge at all, which is good. In fact, these are so good. Um, side to side motion is there. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Side to side motion is there, like I said, because they're journal bearings, but in to out should be solid as a rock. Um, test number two, or number three, because we've done two tests number three. Flip it around and look at the exhaust housing. There should be no oil residues anywhere. Um, if there is any type of oil residue on the back side of your housing, the turbos are junk. That's the third test. So, just to kind of keep a tally here, I'm gonna put these back in there before I break them. The turbo, the TTE engineer stamp. Um, so just to go back and do an untally so that you guys don't forget, um, you guys don't forget what I'm talking about. Test number one, check your wastegates right here. In to out should be solid, side to side, a very tiny bit is okay. Test number two. Number two, check the compressor wheel. Slide the side is okay. In to out should be solid as a rock. Test number three. Exhaust housing should be clean. No oil residue whatsoever. So, there you have it. TTE 720. It's part two of this video. Um, sorry, of... Uh, of the install will be the install part the next video will be install hopefully all right so here we are um just gonna get good light in move this turbo over so this is the stock turbo taking off the car as you can see stock turbo oil line um if you look in here fail number one as you can see look back here at the exhaust housing get my fat fingers out of the way all that shiny clean residue is oil so that means that uh, test fail number one all right so this is the um this is the other part but i also figured something out um off camera uh, i figured if you hold it here because it's hard to get it to replicate to doing it here but if you hold it right here and then you Trying to get a good angle here. Um, yeah, there we go. You can see all that motion up to down, side to side that it's doing is uh is not a good thing. So when you bolt these down and everything is solid as a rock, then they start rattling and moving all over the place. So imagine. This one also does something similar. You just move it up and down and see if the motion is. Yeah, so you can see the stem of the wastegate, the one that goes into the housing down this way, moving and wiggling back and forth, and that's not a good thing. Um, so now that I'm really curious, I'm gonna take the TTEs out of one of them out of the bag and then do the same thing and see what happens. All right, TTE um, 720, one side is out of the box. And I'm going to focus right on the stem right here. Right? 
around the stem here, hold the wastegate, and then just move it up to down. As you can see, um, it's hard because the camera um, has its own plans, but okay, cool. Now that I've done that, now I have peace of mind and I know um, I wasn't played <laughs> and told my turbos were bad when they actually weren't because I knew they rattled like crazy when they were bolted to the car. Of course, everything is holds, mounted solid and this is the only motion part of the turbo, uh, on the external part anyways. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Nice clean back housing, no oil anywhere. And that's exactly what I like to see. On that note, I think I'll end the video here. If you like it, um, you know what to do. Catch you guys in the next video. I just gotta make a reservation.